In recent weeks, Kenyan politics have reached boiling point following the launch of anti-Ruto protests by opposition leader Raylu Amolo Odinga. The protests have triggered a wave of alarming incidents across the country, leading to a heightened sense of unease among the population. In the latest development, Honorable Tragai, a close ally and insider of President William Ruto, has called for the arrest of the Azimio leaders who organized the countrywide protests. Tragai expressed his concern over reports of rowdy protesters recklessly stoning vehicles along Thicker Road, deeming such behavior are unacceptable. Taking to his Twitter, he wrote, The acts of lawlessness reported along Thicker Road is equal to economic sabotage. The acts of hooliganism, violence and intimidation is signature of Azimio demos. If need be the police should cancel the mandamos and deal ruthlessly lawbreakers including arresting organizers. If Rayla is arrested today what's the worst that can happen? Will Kenya stop? No will the world come to an end? No will cost of living come down? Yes. Will Kenyans be happy? Yes. Protest continues to disrupt peace and its economic sabotage. The country is likely to lose today 100 B because of sterile demonstrations. The reactions from Kenyans to this latest update have been mixed. Many citizens have voiced their support for Tragai's call for law enforcement to take action, citing the importance of upholding peace and order. However, others have opposed these sentiments, emphasizing the need for a country ruled by the principles of democracy, transparency, and the rule of law. Amidst the heightened tensions, it is crucial for Kenya to maintain peace and unity throughout the country. Additionally, citizens are calling on the government to address the rising cost of living, which has become unbearable for many ordinary Kenyans. By promoting development, transparency, and a lower cost of living, Kenya can pave the way for a prosperous future that benefits all its citizens.